Watchmen were sentries, or guards, or lookouts against enemy threats and advance. Sometimes these watchmen would be up on top of city walls, hilltops, or actual tall towers known as watchtowers. They would go to these heights so that they could see danger from a further distance away and give a more advanced warning of trouble approaching. With such warning, the people could take refuge and get defenders in place to protect the city. God speaks to Ezekiel and says these words, Now, son of man, I am making you a watchman for the people of Israel. Therefore, listen to what I say and warn them for me. Ezekiel 33:7. Ezekiel is given this role of being a watchman. God calls him to this role to warn the people that there is trouble coming to them from God himself. You see, God is bringing wrath and punishment against all wickedness and arrogance. And his people are in the line of fire quite literally because of their failures to keep God's commandments. As a watchman, I have that responsibility to sound that alarm to you today. God is coming. And God isn't playing around, nor should you consider him someone to toy with. He is serious about sin. And God doesn't smile at our arrogance, nor our casual attitude towards failing him or failing to honor him with all of our heart, soul, and mind. In fact, our self-focused view of what seems right and wrong without respect to the one who created us is what is bringing his wrath. See Colossians 3, 6. I am not the only watchman. You are a watchman too. Each of us is called to warn others and to invite them to take refuge through the repentance offered through Jesus. So what do you do at the sound of this alarm and warning? The place to find refuge and safety is found in repentance. God explains this in Ezekiel 18:32. For I take no pleasure in the death of anyone, declares the Sovereign Lord. Repent and live. These may be some very hard words for any of us to hear, let alone to speak. Yet the purpose God has is in sounding this warning in order to save sinners. God wants all people to discover the same refuge from their sin that He's given to you through His Son, Jesus. The words that will sting to hear and listen to are meant to turn each person from their wickedness so that they would repent and live. Our role as God's watchman also includes the announcement announcement of God's restoration through Christ to the repentant. We are to welcome the repentant sinner to sit, dine, and fellowship around the Lord's table in worship, to befriend them, and to grow together with them as we eagerly look forward to Jesus' return. Advent is a season where we are called to be ready for the Lord's return. As disciples who make disciples, we are watchmen eagerly looking to the horizon for that day and calling sinners to repentance. Let's pray. Lord God, we thank you for the watchmen that you have posted up for those leaders who have stood up and warned us about the dangers of sin, but also warned us about the pending punishment for those who do not repent, for those who would stubbornly stand in their own sin and not seek refuge in you. We thank you for the gift of salvation that you delivered in Jesus and the refuge that we have in him. And as watchmen now, we sound that alarm to those around us, especially as we await for your return. We live confidently knowing that for those who believe your return will be to welcome us to paradise. Yet we sound the alarm for those who do not yet believe that they may come to know the forgiveness that you offer to them for their sin, that they too would find eternal refuge in you. Thank you for this salvation. Help us to speak truth in a way that is loving and genuine. And we pray this now in Jesus' name. Amen.